Hello everyone, for this review we've got the Transformers Takara Dramatic Capture Series for the Decepticon Nemesis Bridge. And as you see, this is Megatron, Shockwave, and Soundwave. This was purchased through Big Bad Toy Store. So it's got this slip cover on it. I don't know if the Japanese version this has the slip cover on it, and I, I don't know if the, you know, if you bought this straight from a Japan retailer, if this comes on it, but I've noticed most of these Takara releases that are sold in the U.S. or to U.S. resellers have these uh, English language uh, outer boxes, so we'll, we'll see in a moment here. This, this box is pretty huge. Um, I mean, it's got three figures and a, and a throne in it, so that kind of makes sense. We've got just more writing on the side. It's just, you know, Transformers Dramatic Capture. You know, just same thing on each side. Just variations of where the text is. So let's, let me find something to open this with. Okay. Make sure I got this looking nice. Okay. So here is the inner box and it's pretty amazing. Some really nice uh, painted lined. I don't know. This looks like somebody drew it and then did a paint style coloring on top of it. Nice Transformers uh, name at the top. And you got the dramatic battle suit uh dramatic not dramatic battle dramatic capture series i'm thinking the battle that this preempts in the cartoon um on the top same uh lettering as the bottom on the sides uh it's got kind of like this blueprint kind of look to it but it's in a light brown color for the text and then on the back, you get to see the characters. So just like the Beast Wars Versus Sets premium paint, better paint. If you bought these guys, it's going to make you wish you probably didn't buy the normal releases. But that's, that's the way it goes with uh, Takara and these repaints sometimes. So um, let's get this out of the box oh okay and then this is a slip cover <laughs> good lord i, sh I should have known better um so this is the back i'm just some explosion type stuff going on and then this is the front and this is the nemesis there's a decepticon symbol just some stuff going on it's like shattered sky explosion looking stuff so i'm guessing there's something cool when you open the final box okay. yeah, so you guys can see this hopefully all this stuff doesn't oh yeah it's not going to fall out i was going to say hopefully all this isn't falling out and this is how they are arranged in the tray on the inside um this looks really nice um i'm really digging those shockwave colors too this is impressive in person um video and pictures do not do this justice um okay let's get these figures out of the box and uh we'll go over those in a little bit more detail now okay so here they are out of the box and again these are very exquisite 
looking at these. Uh, the the color choices that they've used for them are just phenomenal. Um, the only thing that I think is just odd um, first impression is, you know, Shockwave's backpack is gray instead of purple, but they've done that so that his alt mode looks more accurate. So uh, I understand why they did that. Even with the masterpiece shockwave, there's some weirdness going on with the backpack and the you know front of the laser gun and everything. So um, I get that. And then uh, Soundwave with his silver forearms uh, is a little different, but they. I guess I wanted to put in the effort of making this as premium as possible, but the silver on Megatron um, definitely makes sense. And actually let's, let's kind of go over Megatron first. Uh, one, one thing I noticed right away is he stands way, 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 way better than his original counterpart. I don't know if this, if anything was done to adjust, uh, the mold. The arm is sliding down. There we go. It does kind of uh, slide and it kind of pops into place. Um, but uh, yeah, he, he stands like perfectly right now. Um, he doesn't have the weird you know, gray splatter on his crotch, um, no damage, you know, battle damage and whatnot. And I'll, I'll compare him with the um, original version here in a moment. But, you know, like the face, like I always thought the face sculpt looked a little, looked a little weird, but with it being painted differently, it's, it's, it's perfect. It looks, it looks perfectly fine. Just, just seeing the sky in these kind of colors just really, it, it makes him look a lot better. This comes with a uh, sound wave, but always put that piece on Megatron to make him look more like his gun mode. Yeah, just, just super, super, super nice. Soundwave, again, the the silver everywhere is very striking. Um, the red is very bright and stands out a lot. And then, you know, just kind of go over and shockwave briefly. Um, these colors that they've used, they, they just really, really pop. And then uh, Megatron has his uh, Japanese G1-ish sword. This piece comes separate out of the box. Just snap it on. You know, he can hold this or plug it into his arm. I, I wish you could make him hold it more like a sword. That's the only thing I don't like about this mold is I, I like what they, they try to do, but they should have made this two pieces and make it, I mean, it's already two pieces. They should have made it three pieces and make it a little bit more functional, but that's just a Nick pick at the mold in general. All right. So let's go ahead and, do some comparisons because these are repaints. So you should see what came first and what this is doing to improve on that. So here we have the original Earthrise Megatron and Except for the battle damage, 
I, I thought this was pretty cool. You know, the, the colors in general were okay. You can tell that they skimped in a few places, like they didn't put red here um, on the stomach. But everything else, you've got, you know, kind of, kind of your general Megatron colors. Instead of black, they went with gray for the shins. This is a gray plastic on the side. It's the same color as the shins on their initial release. So this front part is, is painted. Um, the feet are fully painted where you only have this one stripe here that's painted. On Earthrise, they painted this. I guess just to break up some of the monotony, but uh, they could have saved that money somewhere. The uh, the red on the arms is a little bit more more neonish like, where this is more of like a primary red. Uh, the Decepticon symbols a lot more in the pink side, and this is more on the blue side. Face, you've got a silver painted face over here you have that uh off white look that the masterpiece used a lot of differences here uh the guns are painted a little bit different this is like straight black and this is a little bit lighter still black but it's not like jet black um they did all this paint work on the arm on the side it makes a huge difference and then on the back they went through the effort of putting this simulated dirt on the treads which is interesting most people aren't going to see that and they decided to put that there and i i guess it didn't add to the cost much to be able to do that but then the initial release comes with this kind of nod to the original Japanese uh, release number for Megatron. So there's Megatron. I would definitely say I, I like the uh, dramatic capture one better and then while we're so we've got the chair up real quick um the color between this and uh the studio series star screen the, the the color looks identical if it's different it's impossible to tell so just something to think about this is basically the exact same mold and color. We got some some weirdness with this sound wave because this is the Netflix sound wave, and there's actually quite a few iterations of sound wave now. So the uh, the very first sound wave is the War for Cybertron one. I, I do not have that. I do have the... Man, I don't know which one is which. <laughs> one, one of these is Netflix, and one of these is the, the Legacy re-release. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think okay. So he came he came with the parts. This is this is the original okay. I got it. So this is the legacy. I I might be calling it wrong, but the the sequel trilogy to War for Cybertron, that, that first um that first year. So they took the War for Cybertron sound wave. They re-released him. They changed the colors a little bit so he didn't have the battle damage, you know, scrapings and whatnot. 
yeah. So that's this version. Um, you can tell because of the the lights on the shins. So looking at these two guys, I mean they're they're a little different from each other, and it's kind of hard to compare these two. But I just I just want you to be able to see them. Um, there's a lot of drastic different stuff going on here. One thing I'm noticing that's interesting is there are stripes on this gun and those stripes on this gun. And then, you know, this... Man, that's interesting. This sound wave, he's got this really dark red plastic for the eyes. And it comes, comes off as black. And this release has the yellow eyes, but um, other than that, nothing, nothing all that drastic as far as the sculpt. All right, so we'll put him away, and this is the Netflix. The these two guys are mold mates, so you can see. Um, they went from yellow trim to gold trim, these red accents, the paint is a little different on the head. This is a gray paint and this is a silver paint. Obviously the silver painted arms and the, the stripes, uh, at the wrist, uh, the color scheme here is very much identical. There, there is some difference on the inside as far as the hue of the paint, but it's it's pretty much the same design. And then you got the feet painted here. Feet are not painted here. And these inner, these are like little missiles that are like poking out. They're not painted on here. And this tip to the gun is painted silver, and this is not. So, and then you got the stripe on here and not on here. And then on the back, nothing, nothing really, nothing really to note. They're both using colored plastic in the same ways, both using uh, paint in similar ways. The paint here is just more uh, silvery. Um, and I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but the, the, color of the blue is a little bit different this on here it's a little bit darker that and the light piping for the eyes is is very dark over here normally that's the opposite with takara stuff it's normally lighter and easier to see through and the american stuff is usually darker and there's there's a thing about uh the more translucent the plastic is the more likely it can chip and break so Usually with the Japanese stuff, they like, you know, we don't care. We want, we want it to look good over function. And in, in America, it's like, you know, toy laws. They, they care deep, more deeply about function. Like function has to work and, you know, at, at the expense of, you know, the way the, the thing looks. Okay. So I would say, you know, if you don't have Amazon Soundwave, this this guy is good. Now, would you want this over this? They're they're very comparable. A little bit more paint. Okay, and then let's go over Shockwave. Shockwave is going to have the biggest differences because the the plastic is different, different color. The overall like paint applications, like where paint is applied, is similar. It's just different. Um, so you can see. I mean, I'm I'm looking at the camera here, and you can visibly see the difference. This is darker, more on the blue side. This is more on the. It's just brighter, different colors for the hands. On the original release, these feet are painted. On this guy, they are not painted. This is the color of the plastic, so that's interesting. Instead of the silver ears over here, you've got these uh, off-white colored ears. 
um, and you can see the the backpacks are painted differently. Um, this is silver. This is purple. There is some. There is some scuff work on the feet, but there's not any other battle damage on the original, which is one of the things I liked about the original. So there's that. And then uh, there is a pink tone to this plastic. Over here, it's just uh, clear. So big differences. Um, almost similar to Masterpiece, where the initial release had the brighter, I'm sorry, had the, yeah, it had the brighter purple, and then the anime version had the darker purple. Th this is going to be like one of the things where there's going to be a strong preference, or or maybe not, but... I kind of like both. I, I I I like the colors on this. I like the colors on this too, because like this one's more toy like, and this one this one's more like animation like. So there there's good reasons to have both of these. Okay, and just to kind of see what this all looks like, I'm gonna put eighty six. Star Scream and I think those look well together. I think if anything, you know, Soundwave stands out with these silver forearms. That's the only thing that's really like a a downside, if anything, out of both of these. Oh, and then I didn't I didn't do this, so let's talk about laser beak. Almost forgot about laser beak. I'm not sure if there's any differences. So Takara original. The layout of colors is identical. Um, let's transform him. Oh, let's look at the underside before I transform him. Um, looks very similar. And that's one. That's two. There's no difference. <laughs> uh, the red on here is a little darker. This is this the Takara. This is the original. The uh, line work. It's like slightly, slightly, slightly different. Um, like the silver is thicker or it has the illusion of being thicker. I think, I think it's the lighting as a, if I play around with it and look at this, they, they look identical. You know, there is Decepticon symbols on both of the heads. The eyes are painted on both. There is absolutely no difference other than this guy's red is a little bit darker. Yeah. So be careful with that. If you got two of these and you're trying to remember which is which, I guess just remember this guy, the Takara one's got a little bit darker red on him. Okay, let's uh, get these guys into vehicle mode and see what big differences there are there. Okay, so we've got them in vehicle mode now. And before I get into comparisons, um, I just want to show off the vehicle mold. Um, all this silver is really nice looking. Um, you know, this is Earthrise, and this this does not look like a realistic tank at all. But hey, you know, they they tried. I mean, there's aspects of realistic tank, but you know, these feet hanging off the back look weird. Um, technically, that should be pointed down. Um, is this backwards? Yep. So if I transform it right, it probably looks better. 
but still, um, you know, he, he's got this overall uh, shape. Um, I can't remember if this is correct or not. I spin this around. Let's see. Yeah, I did this wrong. Okay. Probably good if I transform him correctly. Uh, one thing I would worry about is, you know, because this is painted, you know, slide in this piece in is, you know, you're going to scratch that paint over time. Playing with it just now, um, it seems fine, but just something to think about. Uh, yeah, transforming him correctly, he does look more um, realistic, but because you got all these color differences to make his robot mold look more G1-like, he's he's not doing a great job concealing things. Um, but it looks really nice. It looks it looks super nice. Yeah, this this is definitely more impressive uh, tank mold. Um, I do appreciate that they tried to do something with this. I mean, it's 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 some interesting choices where they skimped on paint and added paint, and they decided, okay, let's make the tank mode. Let's put some effort into the tank mode and look at make it look a little bit more realistic. But you know, the feet hanging off the back, the crotch being exposed in the back, it's. It just feels a bit more like it's Cybertronian, um, but hey, um, at least with the more um, silver gray overall paint scheme on this, this this does sell the tank a lot better with the premium version. Okay, let's talk about Soundwave next. Yeah, this this doesn't do a whole lot. It does cover the back a little bit more, but eh. So these guys in their alt modes, I mean the the thing that's interesting is the Netflix one does a little bit better job because this plastic the, the gray and the gray paint blends in better on the Takara release. You've got these, you know, off white and then silver pieces. It, it stands out. And then the gray against this blue looks better than this, you know, kind of off white against this blue. And then those silver forearms, again, just kind of stand out. Um, just interesting color choices for Soundwave. I think they could have, um, I don't know, they, they should have made this a different color plastic. Uh, this too, to help it blend better or paint it. I don't know. But this is, this is the one place where the alt, alt modes are, I, I probably like the um original release a little bit better okay so let's talk about shockwave um i've got these mist transformed right now uh just to make them look more g1 like so this is where you kind of you know this is the benefit of having this a different color um i don't think this looks bad i think this is fine but you know, this, I think, has that, you know, cartoon comic book look a little bit better. It's too bad they couldn't have done something with the feet. The feet look weird sticking out the back. But, um, I just dig the colors on here. These are definitely more, you know, cartoon comic-ish type colors. So, there is that. Um, overall, this is a good set. 
Um, is it worth the extra cost? I don't know. I would say if you don't have these guys, this is the set to get. If you do have these guys, you got to probably be diehard G1 Decepticon fan to want to get this set. Or, you know, maybe just want to have a complete collection. Um, and this, this will help complete that collection. But again, overall, nice. I like it. And, um, you know, maybe I'll keep some of these guys in vehicle mode and some of them in robot mode. Um, definitely prefer robot mode for the premium editions. Um, so that's it for our review. Um, as always, thanks for watching and uh, tune in for some more videos coming up.